Uh, Scott, we were uh, engaging with the phone, uh, you know, the audience on the phone, and uh, as, as you can tell, there is this sentiment also about, you know, Africa and homosexuality being, you know, as if it's, uh, it's, it's a strange thing. Um, it, it appears that it's something that is, you know, cutting both ways, especially on the continent, where moral issues tend to lean on, on conservatism more than a liberal thinking. What is your take on that? I, I think there's, there's no way to characterize uh, human rights as somehow being at odds with African or any other culture. Mm -hmm. uh, human rights are things that are inalienable to each of us because we are human, whatever our identity, whatever our sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, so I think the notion that this is uh, not a human rights issue, but this is a, a moral issue, is in a sense right. But the, the moral question is, are we going to start selectively uh, excluding people from the rights that we all enjoy because of our, in, our inherent humanity? Mm -hmm. um, and, and of course, we're, we're looking at Uganda, and Amnesty has been very concerned about uh, very strong uh, actions, murder, in some cases outright uh, excessive force uh, against protesters. And when you are at the same time codifying uh, a law that would essentially give people uh, the, the freedom or at least imply that it's somehow okay to discriminate or target uh, any members of society, uh, you're reinforcing that. And we see a shrinking space in Uganda for human rights, and it's a great concern.